With services like Apple TV, Google, and Hulu, it's starting to sound as though you don't really need cable or satellite anymore. So can you cut the cord on that monthly cable bill, or is Internet TV ready for prime time? John Matteris has the story so you don't waste your money. Um, right now we're watching live TV. Chris Kane looks like any TV viewer, surfing channels and looking for movies from his easy chair. But there's one big difference. Most of his TV is now coming in via the Internet, thanks to a Google TV box. Google TV is, is, is kind of a, a, a geeky way to watch television. It, it allows us to connect to the Internet and, and display many channels on our TV. Google TV lets Chris watch many network shows legitimately through Hulu. Google TV also lets him download movies directly from Netflix for an $8 monthly fee. It gives me a list of uh, new arrivals. He can even listen to thousands of songs through a service called Pandora. And Google TV lets him organize photos and visit Facebook in any website he desires. But if it does so much, then why does Chris still pay Direct TV a monthly satellite fee? Because he says Internet TV is not quite ready for prime time. Would you recommend Google TV to somebody as an alternate to cable or the dish? No. No, it's an adjunct. If you were to try and replace your existing cable or... or uh, uh, direct TV or Dish TV, there's a lot of things you're not going to get. Google TV and similar services from Apple TV and Roku let you watch some network and cable programs via the Internet. But the key word is some. Live news coverage on CNN, ESPN sporting events, forget it. You're not going to get Discovery Channel, History Channel, and all the, the things I like to watch anyway. Another challenge. Many shows are not free. You have to rent them. So while Google TV opens up a new world for Chris, he says he's not giving up his satellite dish or similar the cable cord anytime soon. And that was John Matteris reporting for us tonight. Bottom line, all of these new services, they are promising and they all have their pros and cons. If you just like to kick back on the couch and watch TV, nothing really like the convenience of cable or that dish. So you may want to stick with the tried and true for now. And that way you also don't waste your money. Don't just jump on the bandwagon. Because